Why do American warriors under fire do what men have done since this nation's inception? This is a common thread that connects the militias of Lexington and Concord with the warriors of Fallujah. It is our love of nation, our way of life, and our love by those who we serve with side by side. We defend, we avenge, we sacrifice, we bleed, and we are willing to die for this unique creation, the United States of America. I am complete for having experienced that kind of sacrifice with my fellow men at arms. And those who died, they gave their lives for me. They gave their lives for you and countless citizens who will never know them. We broke the will of our adversaries. The enemy was defeated. And because of that, we came home. For the infantrymen in combat, there is nobility and purpose in our lives and that is unique. But we don't see ourselves as a people apart. We are America's warrior class. We are citizens of the United States and treasure this land more than any overseas posting. The Army provided me with purpose and appreciation for the blessing America has bestowed upon us all. I am forever grateful to the United States Army for making me able to count and cherish those blessings in a way that is unique to most and to those who wear the uniform. I think the uniform, I think my Army, has made us all better men, fathers, employees, husbands, and citizens. The best leaders in battle become that way by being loyal and dutiful. We execute the lawful intent of our government. There is no political affiliation on our dog tags. We continue the warrior legacy of the United States without regard for adulation or unanimous approval either. My unit's leaders died leading men from the front. It is our duty to tell the story of our brave men and women who sacrificed so much for our fellow citizens. We fight so our children never have to. We fight for one day when our children and our enemy's children can discuss their differences without fear or loathing. We fight so that anyone out there thinking about raising arms against our citizens or allies realize the futility of attrition against a discipline professional and lethal force built to withstand anything you can dream of throwing at us. Americans want this kind of country. Americans want this kind of world. And we stand ready to defend it, to protect us. So help us God.